I am excited to talk to you about this topic that for a while gave me so much, so much anxiety and I was so frustrated. And it's often the thing that I hear frustration with for you in your business. So when I have clients on my calls, on my sales calls, this one issue is the thing that mucks up all the confidence. It makes it really hard for you to be clear and it makes you keep doing basically the same thing, like going in the same roundabout over and over again without really actually changing the situation. So what am I talking about? Well, one of the biggest things that I struggled with in the beginning of my business was feeling like I didn't get my messaging right. I kept feeling like everyone's telling me to niche down, niche down, do the thing, get so specific on your who, which is important, right? That is important. I'm not saying this is not important. But what I wish someone had told me, and I hope you're hearing this, is that your who is only as important as your how, right? And your how is the fingerprint for your business. It is the distinguishing mark of everything you do. It is the thing that helps cut through the noise, cut through the amount of competition that you need to learn about and how it informs what you do for your who. So often you'll hear people talk about, you need to niche down about who you're talking to. And I think the more that business grows, we're actually realizing the who isn't as important as your how, right? Because how you do what you do matters more to your who than who they are, if that makes sense, right? It's almost like this crazy phenomenon that's happening that the more clear on how you actually solve a person's problem, the easier it is for the who you want to work with to decide whether or not they are your client. And so for a long time, I was so focused on demographic marketing, like a woman who's in her age of this and that, and she lives here and she has this kind of thing and she's living with that kind of thing, right? And what I have found in my messaging is that there is actually a more important part of the who that informs how I actually work and how I solve my clients' problems. And so if you feel like you've been creating content where you're talking about people's problems and you're talking about where they wanna be, like their dreams, and you're telling them about your offers and you're not getting any conversions and you're feeling really stuck and unclear and not confident, this is going to help you. One of the first things I had to realize is that I am unique And just because I am a coach or just because I'm a digital marketer and offer the same offer, like the same quote unquote services as the next coach or the next digital marketer, the how of what I do is really the most valuable piece that my who needs to know and the values that I care about and that I want my clients to care about are the things that I need to talk about more right? So in business, we hear so many different conflicting messages. How do you make sure that your message is so clear that someone who knows what you do, know that they solve your problem and can trust and know that their values are in some way, shape or form aligned with where you want to go and your unique perspective of how you fulfill and solve their problems is really the key of creating, quote unquote, a niche, right? And I I have said this to my client before, like, your who is really not that important. Your how is. And your how incorporates your value, your, like, your values. Like, when I say that, like, it incorporates your values. So values like, for me, I am anti-hustle right? I am anti-hustle all of the time. I am about harmony. I am about really authentic connection and flow. I am about holistic embodiment of who you are, where you're going. I'm about, you know, being really true to your strengths 
and using those strengths to help you increase and overcome some of your weaknesses. I am a person who feels like my weaknesses aren't the thing that will stop me. I have values that I really want my clients to enjoy the process. I want them to feel like they can have a container where they can create their own safety because they are being empowered to know how to do that so that they can show up and create whatever things in their business, right? All of those values to me, y'all, all of those values to me have nothing to do with the demographic of the age, where they're from, what kind of things they enjoy as far as like where they shop on all those different kind of things. And here's why I know this to be true. My how has attracted more of my clients to me than me saying who I serve. Okay, I'm saying that again. My how has attracted more clients to me than who I serve, right? So I serve actually some really amazing women. I was actually on a call recently with some uh, someone that I'm hiring to help me with my podcast and they were asking me my demographics. And I was like, I hate this question, but I also am always like really empowered to answer the question in a very specific way because my who, as far as demographics, would be women between the ages of 27 and 67, Did you hear me? 27 and 67. And if I were to tell like a bro marketer that that's who my audience, they would be like, you have to niche down more, right? And what I have found is the reason why that age range is so broad is because in each of those women that I work with, my values and how I do what I do is really what connected them to me right? It's really what connected them to them, right? To see, oh, this woman has something that I want. She also has maybe similar characteristics and demographics as me, but most importantly, how she is doing what she's doing is how I want to be or how I want to approach something. So it's so important to see that there are nuances in this concept of niche, So if you've been trying it the traditional way of like always focusing on the who, focusing on like how much money they are, where they shop, do those things matter? Yes. But I think the thing that makes people feel more relevant, makes people make a decision quicker is feeling like you are the person that can get them to where they want to go because they align with who you are and how you do what you do. So how do we break this down as far as like your business, right? So I'm going to take you through an example of a photographer, a creative, a creative service provider and a coach, right? There are tons of coaches marketing to the same type of people, right? The same demographics as far as location and money and time, But not everyone is doing photography in the way and how and the reason based on your values of how you do it. And the reason why someone will say yes to you over another photographer that's marketing to the same type of person because of demographics will choose you because you have consistently showed up and shared your how, your values, and why you do it for them and why it helps them have the thing that they want. So as a photographer, I'm gonna use one of my favorite clients because her how is so unique, right? So unique. She is a like journalistic styled photographer and she does branding photography, right? But her how is really helping her clients get back connected to nature, to advocating for nature, to recycling, to taking care of the planet and the the pets and the animals and all of those beautiful things. Also, she's really deep on helping people see natural things as a way of connection and service and meaningful relationships, right? And that is her how. So in her branding shoots, right? She could just say, I'm a business, I'm a photographer for businesses, But even if a regular random business owner, let's just say she decides to work with a real estate agent, comes into her world, 
they know that, and the reason why they come to her is that they know that they will help her capture, that she will create an environment where she can capture this real estate agent showing the fact that they love helping their clients find a home or find a property that they can invest in that helps bring more awareness to the community about like the plants and the fruit and the animals in the air and how to sustainably remodel and how to use their money as for good for the environment. And so she's going to incorporate props and locations that are in that keen place, like that are in how she will capture this real estate photographer. Do you see the difference? Because if she were to work with this same real estate agent and just say, I work with real estate agents and I want to give you branding, her branding photos will look exactly the same for every real estate agent. Like it wouldn't be much different. It look, it wouldn't look different, right? But if if real estate agents started to come find her or to see her because of how she shoots, how she captures this real estate agent, because they align in the values of nature, connection, and community matter over profits. Do you see how much more powerful of a marketing strategy that is and how easily a person will be able to pinpoint exactly that that's the photographer for me, right? Now let's take, for example, as a coach, there are tons of business coaches, tons of business coaches, okay? And let's say, again, this business coach wants to work with female entrepreneur women who are in the creative space, right? And we know, especially in coaching, there's lots of different ways to do that, right? There's the hustle, there's the list of like funnels and all of those different things, right? But what if you were to decide, well, my how is that I'm very deeply connected to making community a priority. I'm very connected to creating awareness around how they can be empowered to create safety for themselves. I'm also very like connected to that business is important, but it is not everything. So how do you run a business that feels very aligned and purposeful? That's eclectic. That's like luxury, almost like luxurious in its way. It feels like you have an abundant amount of time and you are connecting and healing some of your, you know, trauma, child wounds, right? That's your how you want to coach about business, right? And for, for this person, it's like, yes, that's who I want to serve. If someone is creating content that talks about their how for the business person that is looking for a coach, and they align with that message of like anti-hustle, full body and harmony connection, all of those different kind of things, wouldn't it be easier for them to pick you out of the crowd, even though you're marketing and telling them, hey, I'm going to help you such and such X, Y in your business. I'm going to help you make such and such with da, 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 right? The how is what makes you cut through the noise of everyone marketing to the same who. Your values and how you do what you do is what helps you connect and attract your ideal clients. So don't just focus on their problems. Focus on their heart. Focus on what they truly want. And oftentimes, you will find that they align with how you view the world and how you want to bring change to the world and how you do what you do. Share more of that, right? Because when we start making content all about the demographics of a person, it doesn't, it, it's, it's, it's just noise. It doesn't attract the client to you to decide that you are the one. And when you are marketing from your how and your values, you are more confident. You are more clear. You are more able to encourage the the watcher or the listener to join in on this mission with you, right? And know that you are the one to help them get there. 
and you will feel more confident and clear and they will feel more confident and clear that you can help them get to where they want to go. When my clients work with me, this is something we will narrow down. I use the real you framework. You have heard me talk about this framework before. The real you framework really is a framework that helps you to identify your how, your uniqueness, and how you can bring that about talking to your who and how to make that the thing that talks and speaks to their desires and their outcome. You learn how to feel more excited and happy and connecting with your ideal client and feeling more confident and marketing your business. You no longer are playing this tit for tat of like, so-and-so over there is doing this a certain way and so I should. This whole framework of the real you helps you get out of thinking like everybody else and tapping back into the thing that really is what helps you to grow a business and be successful. I do not believe that the who is the rule of everything. You know, we hear so often in business that, you know, it's not about you. And I think to a lot of people, this has been a disservice because the reason why someone will work with you is truly because of you. It is truly because of the values and the brand that you build. And so I have created a framework that helps you identify very quickly how not only you serve and help your clients, but how they find out and choose to work with you much quicker than someone else who's trying to compete on what they get, right? So it is truly because of the values and brand that you build. And so I have created the real you framework that helps you to identify very quickly what traits about you really attracts or magnetize your ideal clients into your world. It's not their age. It's not where they live. It's not necessarily even their income. It is their values that connect to your values. And in order for them to know what that is, you have to be clear on what that is. And they have to know how it relates to what they want. And that is a unique way of how I help my clients. And if you've been having this trouble of like figuring out how to create content and marketing that aligns in a way that serves you and fills your cup and doesn't feel like you're like creating content based on like everybody else's model or method, this is the framework that will serve you to make your next $100,000 with ease. You will be not competing with everyone else. You will be competing in the sense of yourself because you will show up as yourself and people will want to work with you because of your how. So if you want to work with me so that that becomes super easy for you and it becomes very clear why someone wants to work with you, then book a call with me at the link in the show notes to book a free sales call. This is a sales call, no pressure. You will learn what it's like to work with me. I will ask you tons of questions where you get to talk all about your business and your life and how you can create a plan to make $100,000 with ease. And for me, a big portion of how we do that is having a podcast that really works around you and your how. So that is gonna help you. All right, loves, that's it for today. As always, remember that yes, 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 you are crafted to thrive.